Welcome to Time with Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glorify or condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murder of Brittany Williams. Williams was stabbed to death on Friday, January 19, 2018 in the 1300 block of West Florence Avenue in the Vermont Slauson neighborhood of South LA, according to LA County Coroner Records. Jasmine Jenkins was subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. The following is the evidence at trial. In the evening of January 19, 2018, victim Brittany Williams drove to defendant Jenkins' apartment with Cassidy, Williams' young daughter, to allow Cassidy to visit her father, K1 Mitchell, Jenkins' current boyfriend. At the apartment, Williams and Mitchell got into a fight that resulted in Mitchell beating Williams and causing her to bleed from her forehead. Defendant Jenkins arrived in her car with her young son by Mitchell in the back seat and taunted Williams. Mitchell got in Jenkins' car and they drove away, but victim Williams, who had by now called her sister Sade Williams, put Cassidy in the back seat and gave chase. Being chased by victim Williams, who was driving erratically, Mitchell instructed defendant Jenkins to pull into a gas station. Williams also pulled in, left her car to come over to Jenkins' car, and shouted at the other woman and possibly punched her through the open window. Mitchell exited Jenkins' car and tried to restrain Williams, but had difficulty doing so, in part because Jenkins continued to taunt Williams from her car. After back and forth scuffles between Mitchell and Williams, Jenkins exited her car with a large kitchen knife and stabbed Williams three times, killing her just as St. Williams arrived. At trial, Ajay Panchao, a deputy medical examiner for the LA County coroner, testified that Williams suffered three stab wounds to her chest and abdomen, any one of which would have been fatal. Panchao opined that the person suffering these injuries could still stand up and run for a very short period of time. The prosecution presented three security camera video recordings depicting the fight. Collectively, they revealed that the skirmish outside Jenkins' car between Williams on one side and Jenkins and Mitchell on the other lasted about a minute. It involved three discrete encounters between Jenkins and Williams, the first two occurring at the gas pumps and the last at the bus stop on the sidewalk. In the first, Williams was thrown violently to the ground by Mitchell, presumably to keep her away from Jenkins. In the second, Williams popped up and charged Jenkins and attacked her, but was driven off and held by Mitchell at the bus stop. In the third encounter, as Williams was being restrained by Mitchell at the bus stop, Jenkins approached and attacked her. The poor quality and limited coverage of the videos makes it impossible to see when the stabbing occurred. Jenkins testified that when she exited her car and approached Williams, the other woman charged and started hitting her. In response, Jenkins waved her knife at Williams and backed up to get away, but then fell, with Williams falling on top of her. Jenkins testified variously that she stabbed Williams only once, stabbed her three times, and had no idea that she had stabbed her. The prosecution argued Jenkins stabbed Williams during the first and possibly third encounters, but not the second. The defense theorized that Jenkins stabbed Williams only during the second encounter to defend herself from the latter's attack. Following the trial, the jury acquitted Jasmine Jenkins of murder, but convicted her of voluntary manslaughter, and the court sentenced her to 11 years in prison. Brittany Williams was 24 years old at the time of death. 